We do know that four people were injured, one female, three males. One of those males um, is in serious condition right now. It's still an active scene as the sun begins to come up. And I'm going to step out of this, uh, out of the way so you can um, see what is going on. So you might be able to tell that there are several markers that are on the ground. Uh, investigators have been here on scene um, taking photos. Um, they've been out here with their flashlights looking for evidence. And so what we do know is that according to Chief Winstrom, officers were responding to a traffic crash in the area when they heard a couple dozen of gunshots. That was sometime between 1.30 and 2 o'clock this morning. Right now, pre preliminary information shows that the shooting um, happened outside of Grand Woods Lounge um, here at the intersection of Cesar E. Chavez and Oaks. Um, we did talk to an employee who says that uh, the lounge was at full capacity last night and that a fight broke out um, outside between several individuals. Right now, no one is in custody. Again, we did talk to Chief Winstrom, and here's what he had to say. We'll do everything we can to bring justice to, the, to these individuals. You know, there might be a loss of life here tonight, if that's the case, uh, another tragedy. But uh, we're going to put 100% effort in, and we sure would like the public support as well. Anybody that has information on this, if they could call either the police department or Silent Observer, it's uh, very important. Again, right now, no one is in custody. So, you know, putting more emphasis on what the chief said. If you have any more information, they're asking that you contact the necessary authorities. Again, they are they are still um, actively processing this scene right now, and so we're still gathering information and we'll uh, relay any more details that we get. Brittany, I'll send it back to you.